Okay guys, um, this particular video what we're going to be discussing um, is how we're going to accelerate your learning curve by you joining this program. So I've got with me today Marius, um, he's just recently done his ACS registration, he's passed everything and um, but we're going to discuss about how he's got involved what I'm doing and how he's accelerating so fast by the way I'm teaching and we're just going to discuss that and he's going to you'll listen to his experience what he's seen in the classroom from his previous type of training to this type of training and you're going to hear from himself how he feels how he's accelerating through this game of what we're getting involved with so right just let's go over you know this type of sort of way I'm showing you going through like say like this flow chart now if we go through the top items what how the spider works yeah. so I'm just going to go through it we've got the start here we've got the flow turbine or in fact do you confident yourself do you think you, what you've learned that you could <laughs> say well, about this well possibly I can give it a shot um, okay come on let's give it a go then okay well uh, it's a hot water flow sequence and um, well, we'll start with a flow turbine uh, you know, the, if that activates uh, sends a signal to a PCB uh, PCB activates the pump pump then sort of starts running uh, on this particular boiler I think uh, you mentioned that you, you have to look at um, this a, a pressure yeah. sensor yeah that's it the pressure uh, sensor pressure there yeah center, so that's where uh, it is and then um, uh, uh, hot water and primary sensor so there's two sensors yeah um, that you know you need to look out for um, next um, you, you'd be looking at uh, a diverter valve and you know uh, and the position which it, it closes and opens you know for central heating or hot water if, if you know but, uh, yes yeah. that's right so that, then um, that's a fan that fan activates and then starts sucking air through uh, sending a signal uh, well through a pressure uh, pressure switch to the gas uh, valve uh, gas valve then you know um, uh, releases gas into the fan that's it yeah uh, and then once that mixture reaches um, combustion yeah. chamber uh, spark is the, uh, the spark electrode spark starts electrode starts and then burner burns uh, heats the water and uh, you have a nice um, bath or <laughs> yep. a nice shower uh, with uh, hot water in a sense yeah through the hot water yeah. into exchange yeah okay now Maris has learned that real fast is you know we've gone through the sequence of what we've been discussing in the classroom and gone through this as you can see so Maris has now realized how fast it learned real quick so just go over your experience what you was doing before um, in the sort of different type of methodology how he was getting taught and, right. what, and the difference yeah. is what you feel now yeah okay so when I was doing my course um, um, we we covered uh, a lot of uh, parts I see you know in, in a kind of an isolated manner like you know what's um, a thermocouple thermostat etc but there was no uh, correlation so um, we did look at some of it but it, it was really um, uh, not in depth and uh, I struggled to understand how the whole sequence worked but I noticed that there was one page uh, in part two of gas safe um, or gas books I uh, can't remember which um, company yes, it's, it's okay uh, it's it, right. it, it was done by um, I think um, and I see I think books I, I can't remember exactly anyway um, and so I studied that one page of you know boiler sequence and kind of you know drew uh, diagram for, for myself but it wasn't a complete um, uh, diagram for example it didn't include a flow turbine and it didn't really include that broad mm. sequence of like you know where it starts yeah. and where it ends uh, and there were no pictures obviously <laughs> yeah which you know made me think oh my god this is going mm. to be difficult yeah you yeah know, but uh, but looking at your presentation and then uh, your flow chart uh, it, it's really simple um, and I, I do find it easy you know now 
you compare hot water and central heating and that made me realize okay hang on so it's not just the st thermostat it's not just the, you know the clock on on the boiler there's mm. a turbine you know that starts it etc so there's a lot of things that this chart you know by looking at it just by looking at it you, mm. you remember what was said for you know for turbine for pump etc mm, that's so right. it's definitely like visual aid um uh, you know looking at the part oh I know I can see that in the boiler <laughs> yeah it's much better than just text so I think uh, it, it's definitely um, changed my uh, kind of view and understanding of the sequence of the boiler and and it made me confident and you know mm. it really really um, I sort of now stand in front of a boiler and I, I think okay well so that's what Tony would do and uh, you know that's uh, how he taught me and I just go through steps and I think oh, okay well there's no rocket science you know mm. once you know this there's no rocket science mm, I know, right. before that you know, of course you think oh my god how, 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 how does the fan work okay yeah. well I know there's a pressure switch but there could be other things you know and, and then when you have no hot water mm. You, you may be thinking, oh, maybe it must be fan, but yeah. in fact, it could be the turbine. But if you yeah. don't know the sequence, yes, you know, you wouldn't be able to repair, or, yeah. or you start replacing all yeah. different parts, parts. Yeah, you know, like and parts. charging cus your customer yes. that like, exactly know, hundreds it of pounds, and then you, you wouldn't that's last it. long. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I think it's really, really good. That's it, and that's what we talk about: learning fast but using simple methodology, and this is how I teach. This is just the tip of the iceberg, what you're seeing here. This is just the, the intra entry level of what you're gonna learn if you come on this program. So I'm just giving you a little sneak preview of what you can learn, how you learn it as well. And the key thing, you can reduce your learning curve by years by signing up for this program. So just a sneak preview for you guys. So if you're sitting on the fence, hopefully this will be a bit more convincing for you to join us. So thank you.